everyone, this is Jopke, and yes, you are correct, I'm playing along with the mission inspiration of October 2017. I haven't done a mission this year yet, except for one of the mini mid-month missions. I did uh, one, uh, which was about destination. But a few days ago, I decided to try and uh, create something for the mission inspiration of October 2017. Now, what you see me doing here is applying texture uh, modeling paste. Uh, that is the first step of the mission. And I started this page earlier because, um, as you can see, this page has a lot of texture already. And that is because I already started it and decided I didn't like it and uh, started all over again. So um, that was me applying texture with modeling paste for the first step. And for the second step, it says drip, spritz, spray or drop color. Now, the color scheme of this month of October, that is, is midnight fog and pumpkin. So that is black and a light gray and an orange color. And um, here I'm using a pipette to um, drip some black acrylic spray paint that I made myself once. And this is a spray by Lindy Stamp Gang, uh, which is a very subtle color, very light gray with a hint of purple. Um, I believe it's called I'm Late Slate and I added that as well and again I uh, added more of the black. Now step three says add string, twine or fibers and I'm just using some uh, black thread uh, that was on my sewing machine and I took that out and used that as um, for step three and I'm just pulling uh, quite a lot of it and um, placing it uh, in a horizontal horizontal line on my page. Uh, I'm gluing that down with a bit of the art medium I always use, um, but I, you could use anything, a white glue or um, a glue stick as well that would work and I'm trying to be very careful because um, because it, it becomes very sticky and it's hard to uh, put it down really. Step four says hide write a secret in your page. Now I just scribbled a bit really uh, in, in mirror writing. I'm writing backwards and uh, I'm using a couple of um, pens for that. Uh, the Faber-Castell didn't work all that well and this is a Posca pen that I'm using to just scribble some uh, words down in mirror writing so that um, is hard to read. So that is my secret. Um, the next step, step five, is add a focal image or two or three. Uh, this is something I am always struggling with. Uh, when I think uh, that my page is turning out quite nice, I always stumble upon the focal image and I can ruin it completely. For this, I decided to use a piece of cardboard, a corrugated cardboard, and you see me uh, pulling uh, off the, the top layer so the, the corrugated part um, is showing and I decided to make that kind of a frame and I'm cutting out a couple of um, uh, holes really to make it look like a frame. Um, in that piece of cardboard I'm cutting four uh, windows or is it three? I believe it's four windows and I'm not bothered if it's all uh, neat and tidy. Uh, it's, I just cut out a few holes and um, that is fine by me. It, it needs to be a bit grungy. 
um, and that is going on top of the thread. I, as, as often, I decide to work in a horizontal line. I'm not sure why that is, but I really like that. And um, I'm placing everything in a horizontal line. So once I am ready with cutting out all the holes, as you can see here, it's now a frame with four small windows and I kind of like it. Um, I'm adding some grungy, uh, grunginess to this frame with the Stazon Yet Black uh, ink pad and just go over the, the frame to um, make it a bit crunchy. Uh, then I am using um, for a, a, a bit of contrast uh, some washi tapes and that is an, uh, one with an orange pattern and one with a black pattern. Um, until this point I haven't used the pumpkin, the orange color uh, really, but I'm going to. Um, so I thought that would be nice to put underneath of the frame. With the frame, by the way, at this point, I wasn't sure what to do with it next. If I should uh, put something behind it, like an image or a photo, uh, I didn't know at that time. And I was just playing around and adding a bit of color uh, with the washi tapes. Uh, so yeah, I always struggle with the focal point, never know what to do with that. And uh, well, I was happy that I thought of this frame at this point, otherwise I wouldn't have known uh, where to go with this page. Here I'm splattering a bit of the orange acrylic spray paint that I made myself. And here I uh, have found a photo. Um, of some sheep in a winter landscape and I thought that could look nice uh, behind my frame. Also I had this, um, uh, here I'm adding some black ink on the edges and uh, with the scissors I grinch it up a bit and this image is an image of, uh, of a number plate really and it doesn't have anything to do with sheep and it doesn't mean anything for that matter, but uh, I thought the color was perfect on this page of that image and I decided to use it and put it behind the frame a bit. So it's a, a little accent to the page, but not entirely. It doesn't show uh, the number plate completely. So gluing that down with the art medium again and the photo, I used a stapler to uh, attach the photo to the frame. And here I have uh, some adhesive tape of a lace um, shape, really, and I'm putting it underneath it. And then gluing everything down with a simple white glue I got from Action. So that is so far my focal point or focal points. I thought uh, this would be enough. Um, playing around a bit more with some images and things. This is a little butterfly and I'm coloring the edges with the black uh, Faber Castell artist pit pen and uh, using some score tape to uh, attach it to the frame. And I'm finding the right place to put it up. And I believe that isn't the final spot. No, there it is. I placed it a little more uh, on the bottom of the frame, adding a bit more of the washi tape as well. This had a, a black and white lined pattern. And then we go to the next step, which says stamp text or patterns in ink or paint. And I'm using the black stays on ink again. And this is a script stamp that is from uh, Heidi Swap, I believe. I was told because it, it hasn't uh, any brand name on it. So 
but I was told that this is a stamp from Heidi Swap, and I'm just stamping a bit uh, here and there on my page. And this is a tiny stamp from Indigo Blue, which also has a script on it. And then, what am I doing next? I'm trimming the edges of my page. This is a page, by the way, uh, that is from my junk and disorderly uh, art journal that I got from Indigo Blue um, a little while ago. And I have trimmed the edges and now using, again, the stays on yet black ink pad to color the edges. And that's kind of framing the word, the the piece. And I always, I almost always do that because it is a nice, uh, gives a nice effect, I think. Then the next step, add a quote, phrase, or word. And I had some uh, printed words and text uh, lying around, and I picked one which says "Be the change," and I added it, it on top of the frame. And then step eight says add doodles, scribbles, or entangles. And the only thing I'm doing really is adding some dots um, with the Faber-Castell uh, markers. So um, the suggested words for a theme are leaves, scarecrow, thankful moon, and bounty. I don't use those. Uh, I did use the color suggested color scheme and I did all the prompts. So in the end, I'm quite happy how this turned out. Um, I found it di quite difficult, I have to say. Uh, and it's been quite a while since I did any of the mission inspirations and I really do love them so much. But um, sometimes um, I have to wait for um, uh, inspiration and, and think about what I could do. So this is me adding a date and the, uh, my signature and then my mission of October 2017 is complete. So uh, I do hope you have enjoyed watching this video and see you hopefully again very soon next time. Bye.